Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about one of the important concept in color television and that is nothing but frequency interleaving. So let's begin with the topic. In color television, frequency interleaving plays an important role. So let's find out what do you mean by frequency interleaving is. So, the frequency interleaving in color television is possible because of the relationship between the video signal to the scanning frequencies which produce the video signals. So, the in frequency interleaving concept comes into the picture because of the relationship between the video signal and the frequencies which are used to create the video signals. So, it has been determined that the energy content of the video signal contained in the individual energy bundle which occurs at the harmonic of line frequency. This indicates that the energy of the video is present in the form of bundles of energy at the harmonic having a line frequency of 15.625 kilohertz or 13.250 kilohertz. So at these frequencies which are considered as a line frequency, the bundle of energy of the video occurs. The component of each bundle being separated by a multiplier of the field frequency. That means it is get uh, separated, these bundles are get separated having a line frequency of 50 hertz, 100 hertz, 150 hertz and etc. The shape of each energy bundle shows a peak at the exact harmonic of the horizontal scanning frequency. As shown in figure, now let's move to the figure 1 so that we can have a clear concept about the frequency interleaving. So as shown in the figure, the lower amplitude excursion that occurs on either side of the peak. So here if we consider the peak signal, then the lower side excursion occurs on either side of peak space at 50 hertz interval and represents harmonics of the vertical scanning rate. So they are get separated from each other at the frequency rate of 50 hertz and therefore they represent the harmonics of the vertical scanning rate. Now moving back to the explanation part. The vertical sideband contains less energy as compared to the horizontal scanning band and that is because of the low frequency rate of the vertical scanning. So horizontal scanning is having less energy as compared to vertical scanning because of the lower rate of the vertical scanning. The energy content decreases with increase in the order of harmonics is very small beyond 3.5 megahertz from the picture carrier. So as the harmonics get increased, the energy content present into the band is get decreased and it will get very small beyond 3.5 megahertz of frequency. Therefore, in case of monochrome television, a part of bandwidth in the monochrome television signal goes unused because of the spacing between the bundle and that spacing contains the information about the color. It is suggested that the available space could be occupied by another signal and here in case of color television at the space which was get unused in case of monochrome television is used for carrying the color information and that is called as color subcarrier signal. So where the color information is located by modulating the color difference signal with the carrier frequency which is called as color subcarrier. So the part which was unused in case of monochrome television is now utilized in case of color television and that is called as color subcarrier. So that space is used for carrying the color subcarrier frequency. The carrier frequency is uh, selected that is its sideband frequency fall exactly midway between the harmonics of the light frequency. So in whenever we want to select the carrier frequency, two, one thing we require to consider that the sideband frequency fall exactly at the middle way between the harmonics. This requires that the frequency of the subcarrier must be an odd multiple of the half of the line frequency. For example, if we consider the line frequency as 50 hertz, then we require to select the frequency of subcarrier which is half odd multiple of the line frequency. The resultant energy cluster that contain color information are shown in figure. So let's move to the diagram. So here the figure shows the graph between the picture carrier and the frequency. The picture carrier is expressed in terms of amplitude. Now here the chrominant signal is present which is nothing but Y signal. And here we can say that the dotted line represents the chrominance information fall between the Y signal and the harmonics and the last signal that means the sound signal is present or the sound carrier is present at the frequency of 5.5 .5 megahertz and that is nothing but we can say a composite video signal. 
In order to avoid a crosstalk with the picture signal, the frequency of subcarrier is selected rather than higher side of the channel bandwidth. So, in order to avoid the mixing of signal with the audio signal, the higher side of the frequency is required to be selected for selecting the subcarrier frequency of the color. It is 567 times one half the line frequency in the PAL system. Now, let's have some calculations so that it will get clear. When we multiply 283 with 2 and we'll get add 1 into that and after this 15,000 625 waves get divided by 2 we get a value of 4.43 megahertz now in american 525 line system smaller bandwidths are used for the channel the to introduce the subcarrier have which is 455 times one half of the line frequency that means in case of 525 line system we use the color subcarrier frequency as 3.58 megahertz and for 625 line frequency we require to use the color subcarrier frequency as 4.43 megahertz this exact value of the color subcarrier is required so that there will be a synchronization between the transmission and receiver at the same time it is possible or it is easy for the receiver to recover the original information back very easily and accurately at the same time it provides the compatibility between the color and monochrome television system therefore it is important to have the exact and accurate value of the color subcarrier therefore in case of 525 lines the color subcarrier value is 4.43 megahertz and in case of 625 line the color subcarrier value is 3.58 megahertz so the figure shows basically the interleaving of the color signal where we can see the odd harmonics are having 1 by 2 hertz of scan rate of the color signal then this is nothing but the location of the color subcarrier which is obtained at the frequency of 4.43 megahertz and uh, here we can say the harmonics of the horizontal scan rate so this is how the interleaving of the color signal takes place while transmission of the color signal from transmitter to receiver so i hope you understand this topic of frequency interleaving which is possible because of the relationship between the video signal and the scanning frequencies which produces the video signal so i hope you understand this so thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned to ikira subscribe ikira thank you